in season indeed. In fact, it's been an incredible month of April. So many rugby festivals taking place all around the country, from Joburg to KZN and even Bloemfontein. Now, a lot of teams took a break this past weekend, but there were a few Cape schools who couldn't resist the urge to play some incredible rugby at the Weinberg Rugby Festival to a close it came this weekend. It was a real white and red day in the KZN, though, as Michael House recorded a famous victory over their fiercest rivals, Hilton College, thanks to a 2013 scoreline just outside Peter Maritzburg on Saturday. Elsewhere in the province, Kersney played their defensive prowess out, coupled with a clinical attack against St. Charles to defeat the Peter Maritzburg side 43-0. Then in the North Vale, Nuert Karp defeated Middleburg High 51-22, whilst Hurskol Pretoria Nuert won their local derby against Hurskol Tana 27-34 in a thrilling clash there. Then in the Cape, it was the final day of the competition in the southern suburbs as Rondebosch capped off an impressive festival with a 29-8 victory over Walfus Bay. Stellenberg comprehensively dealt with Vintokai 50-0, the final scoreline there. But in the matches of the weekend, credit must be given to Tigerberg as they wrapped up an impressive weekend with a 53-5 victory over St. David's. It was the second time in the festival that the Cape side managed to score 50 points and plus and finished the festival as the highest scorers with 103 points. What will also be pleasing to the Cape Bay side uh, and certainly their coaching staff is that they only conceded 17 points in two hours of rugby. So well done, lads. Then Weinberg boys, another side that was very difficult to deal with on the weekend. Playing their matches on home soil, the hosts racked up an impressive 95 points in their two fixtures. The Weinberg boys are enjoying a fantastic season thus far, having remained undefeated in their first eight matches of the season, which included a 59-21 thumping of local rivals Rondebosch. So the season only gets more difficult, though. So their next, the next match coming up is against Paul Boys High. Oh, it's going to be Titanic, who recently returned home from a very successful tour of Japan. Paul Boys High will return um, from their campaign at the Sanex World Youth Tournaments with their heads held high after losing in the final, though, to Hamilton High School from New Zealand, but doing incredibly well to get there. Boys Shy bring home a silver medal after being edged 15-11 by the school from the land of the Long White Cloud on the final day of the tournament in Japan. The boys from Paul ran through uh, other opponents and logged comfortable scores leading up to the final and at one point had only conceded only five points in three matches. So the boys from Paul currently sitting third spot on the SA School Sports' latest top ten rankings for schoolboy rugby. Weinberg and Bushops occupy sixth and seventh place respectively, which should make for a couple of interesting Triple Crown encounters later in the season. Carsfontein find themselves deservedly in second place, whilst Monument find themselves in fourth, thanks in part to their courageous draw against the country's top side for 2014 thus far, Grey College. Rugby boys, keep up the good work. You make our job a lot easier. We've seen some titanic clashes. Well, on the medical front, it is a very interesting day today, World Asthma Day. Those who have suffered with it, I'm sure are really interested to hear about the latest findings and research.